I fall, slide, and have penetration take place. Whereas that is not the case here, we began by giving senators an indication of what they would be treated to by the deputy governor. An obvious lie. And we said that the deputy governor will come before you and look you straight in the eyes and lie to you. He has not disappointed. He looked you straight in the eye and gave very obvious lies that amount to insulting everyone's intelligence without due respect. Honorable members of the Senate, what then are you supposed to do with that kind of a witness? Who will come before you amidst the weight of evidence, amidst facts, and still take you through a lie and want you to believe them? And I started by saying that is the kind of witness that you should be angry at that you should exercise anger at, you have that right. That moment, Honorable Senators, has come for you to tell the Deputy Governor that he had um, a duty to ensure that he speaks the truth. And even where he has difficulty speaking the truth, let that lie not be the kind that insults the intelligence of Honorable Senators. You had the opportunity to see the witnesses, you had the opportunity to hear the witnesses. You had the opportunity to analyze and question every statement from the witnesses. You can tell, honorable senators, that those witnesses were not credible. They were not truthful. They were not honest. How do you analyze a lie? You look at the presentation of facts and ask yourself, based on the conduct of the witness, based on logic, based on, you know, the way we all perceive things, does that make sense? When the deputy governor stands before you on oath, having lifted the Bible, and tells you, number one, that he does not know Dennis Misati. Yet, that is the son to his 32-year-old good friend. A friend that they have done each other favors. A friend that they have visited each other, mourned together, celebrated together. But he does not know Dennis. But he wants you to believe that somehow on 28th of May, Dennis, in the company of his father, visited him, and they sat at a distance and were not privy to the conversation. And that the only role Dennis performed that day was to pay a debt that his father owed him. Honorable Senators, these are not five-year-old children we are talking about, not ten-year-old children we are talking about. We are talking about married men with their families in the company of their father to visit the deputy governor. One of the sons that the deputy governor disowns as not having a personal relationship with. So then one would ask, what was the essence of the meeting? What was the essence of that visit? It must have been towards what Dennis was saying. It cannot be anything else. Honorable Senators, when the Deputy Governor stands before you, a man of serious qualifications, serious titles, and he tells you that he is able to operate his mobile banking, that he is able to operate the Mpesa app, but he does not know how to reverse money. 